Okay, everybody. So I go by B Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so just give you a little bit of background of how this all came about. Um, I'm 26 years old. I just got uh, over the last year my license to be a professional counselor. Um, and so I'm very much into working with people who have mental health issues, who suffer from addiction, who have eating disorders. Um, you name it, I've probably worked with it um, as far as mental illness and disorders go. I've worked with all different types of populations of all different ages. Um, so I have a pretty wide scope of a lot of issues and a lot of things that our psychology goes into as far as those issues. Um, so I used to just rant on Snapchat about things in my day-to-day -day life, men, relationships, things that happened to me while I was out, um, just life stuff in general. And I used to get a lot of responses, you know, you should take this to the next level, you're great, blah, blah, blah. I never really took it seriously because Snapchat at first was just like really our close-knit circle for a while, right? Um, that's where you felt like you could be yourself, wig off all of that um and then when all of that drama with snapchat went down with all the changes a lot of people like scattered myself included i stopped using snapchat the same way so i still had this void or this need to want to spread my message and at that point i had only been using my instagram um to just post pictures i didn't really talk a lot on there because it's such a wider audience and you just never know what you're gonna get um but when snapchat kind of fell off i really had i had a choice but really no choice knowing how i am um but to start speaking on instagram and me sharing my rants on instagram and my opinions on things kind of um went up a notch when they implemented the whole poll option and so a lot of times i would be sitting going through a situation or observing a situation or observing a conversation um, on social media and you know I'm always like well I wonder if other people feel the same way I do um, or what I wonder what other people think about this and so I kind of took that and ran with it um, I started doing polls on a variety of subjects from mental illness um, to I've done a little bit of everything under the Sun as you'll start to see um, my only setback is that when I started doing these videos, I didn't know how much of a response I would get. And people have been telling me for like six months, because I probably started them in April. It is now January 2019. Um, so over, I want to say the last four to six months, people are like, you need to be on YouTube. You need to do a podcast. Um, you need to do a blog. I got all types of suggestions. Um, and I struggle with figuring out like where I should start with this. Like, should I, you know, should I do podcasts? Should I do YouTube? And I just felt like YouTube was probably the most comfortable space um, to do what I've already been doing and kind of just transfer that information over to my Instagram. Um, but what set me back was the fact that I didn't realize how I was recording on Instagram was not going to format well into YouTube. So. I was never going to start from scratch and I'm still dedicated to uploading a lot of my old content onto this YouTube channel. Um, so I'm working with somebody on doing that. So in the meantime, you'll get to see all of my new content and as I pretty much start paying somebody to edit my old content so it's viewable on YouTube, that'll start infiltrating its way into my list of videos. So um, I'll always be sure to include like when I recorded this or whatever. And the biggest part is not only do I do polls, but I do just random rants and discussions on other things. But with the polls, I really encourage um, people who subscri subscribe to this channel um, to follow me on Instagram and not just because I want followers, but so that you can participate in the polls. Um, I wish I had a set day and time where I do them, but I really kind of don't. It really just depends on what inspires me. Um, that week I do try to post weekly though whether it be a poll in a rant or just a rant um, because I want to keep my content fresh and um, I'm just very expressive so it never it's never a week that goes by where I'm like eh, I shouldn't do a rant no it's always something that comes up that I feel like I want to share my opinion on or I want to hear other people's feedback 
So um, what you'll typically see is I encourage you to follow my Instagram at B-R-I-N-G, B-R-I-T underscore at Bring It Brat underscore because um, I want to get the participation with the polls up. I really want people to give me their input, their feedback, um, and you can only do that through the app, which is Instagram. Um, so I definitely encourage people to come follow, give me your opinions. A lot of times what you'll see with a lot of my old content and probably probably with some of my new content is um, my videos will either start out with a prompt or a poll and then it'll lead into the discussion and I want to include that so that even if you don't vote you see the background of what I'm using to kind of analyze these results um, and where I'm getting this information from um, I want to say that my Instagram following is probably about 50% uh, women and 50% men it's, pro it's pretty equal I probably have a little bit more of a male following just maybe 10 to 20 more male followers than I do female followers um, based pretty much in Chicago I got a couple Atlanta da Atlanta Dallas and Houston followers but it's pretty much based on based through Chicago uh, my following and so mainly the age bracket is I think between 23 and 30 and no 35 I'm sorry 23 and 35 and I think it's important to know this so that you know, like, well, who's voting? Whose opinions are you getting? Um, so that's really my population. And I, I always, I got black, of course, the majority of my followers are black, but I got some Latinas. I got some white people that follow me, you know, that I went to college and high school with and all that good stuff. So I really um, aim to make it all inclusive. I want the, the gays, I want, you know, straights, I want everybody to feel like they can participate in what I'm doing and that they can take feedback um, and suggestions from what I'm doing. But other than that, I think that's about it. I really hope you all enjoy what I put out. Um, my goal has always been to further educate us on things that we see or do on a day-to-day -day basis and to also spread the message of universality so that that pretty much means that we are not alone anything that you've done anything that you've been through um, somebody else out there shares that experience and I think sometimes a lot of the time we feel alone or like we are we we are the only people that are having these thoughts or these feelings about certain things and i pretty much want to prove that like we share we are more alike than we are different at the end of the day um most of my videos you'll see me in the car that has become a little bit of a thing because when i switch jobs and i start taking these polls a little bit more seriously i will record a lot on my way home from work so a lot of times especially with daylight saving times it'll be dark outside i'll have really good lighting that i just learned how to perfect um and that's pretty much how i time myself i know okay from a little bit after the time i leave work to the time i get home is probably the approximation of how long my videos are which is usually somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes never any longer than that because I ain't got that much to say when it's just me now if I bring in somebody one day they might get a little longer but I'm pretty I like to be cute straight to the point um what else is important to know yeah I just want to reach millennials I just want to give us a space to talk about sex health like healthy sex healthy mental health like just a big wide range of things that we can discuss in a non-judgmental and a healthy way um some of my i screenshot a lot that's something else you should know um and it's not that i don't get people's approval most times i do sometimes i don't so i advise people before you know you send me messages responding to certain things there's a likelihood that i will screenshot this and include it but i always 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 um, remove the person's name. I blur it out, you know, uh, color over it. 
because I think anonymity is very important. Um, I'm a therapist. I think confidentiality is very important. So I don't, you know, see who's voting my polls and then go tell somebody else like, well, they said this or they voted this and they feel this way. I don't, I don't do that because I leave, I feel like people should form their opinions about people based on their soul experience, not on the contribution of somebody um, else's commentary. So that's just something else to know. Um, and I think that's about it. I'm at a place now where I'm so used to recording with Instagram, where I'm used to the 15 second intervals um, or the minute intervals that we now have. Um, so me recording on a continuous feed is new. Um, so you'll catch all the, the Freudian slips, all the times where I'm not as articulate as I want to be because I want to be authentic. I want to be raw and genuine and continue to be myself because I feel like that's what's gotten uh, the little bit of a following or support that I do have to this point. So again, I just really hope you all take a liking to this. Please share, invite people to this channel um, because I really want to see how far I can go. And I really want to be a voice for a lot of people. I have no problem being that and I want to represent us well. And I need you all's contributions um, to my my work in order to do that. So, B. Marie, keeping it a buck with B. That's the name of this little whole little shindig. And again, like, subscribe, leave comments, all that good stuff. And I hope that we take off together, you know? Oh, okay.